Well, hello everyone, and here I am with my another LEGO Star Wars Solo set review, and also my first summer 2018 set review, and it being of the Cloud Rider Swoop Bikes that was just about released. So on the front of the box, the LEGO logo, Star Wars logo, the border in there, and picture of the set in action, the minifigs included, and set number there's 75215, and it has meant for 8 through 14, it has 577 pieces. Flip it to the back. You can see it in other positions, a couple of the features, and yeah. And on to the booklets. And this comes with two booklets, each with the same pictures on the front. The first one of which is after Lego Life, there. And for the spring wave of sets, and add for a couple of ones, which I am will also be reviewing. And then add for the summer, all the summer sets, along with the mini figs with them. And then, and then, the, and then the second booklet of which on the back went on a survey, all the pieces included, and that's about it. First of which for the main thing is Weasel or Weasel. How are you gonna say that? Just make sure you get it back there. There we go. Uh, let me mute the sound there. There we go. So this one's so torso printing I think is quite superb. If it decides to focus, focus. Okay, there we go. So, I, so this one's torso printing, of which I think it is does look good. Especially so that new helmet piece is really well done. Okay, so the helmet of which I think looks well done. But the uh, little spikies are a bit of so solid hard rubber, so at least it doesn't break easily. And then take a look from the back for the back torso printing. And then the one little problem with this one, just like the Captain Phasma ones, is I expect a actual character's face, right? No, plain black. Like, what's up with that? I'd be fine if all the stormtroopers and all, all did that. But why is this one? And then the weapon he's holding, or he, he she's holding, is quite unique. So like a small form of one of the uh, sword weapons in the Ninjago movie line, along with one of the spear pieces. Is that kind of interesting? Oh wait, I just got the names mixed up. This is actually Emphis Nest. Yeah, Emphis Nest. And this here is Weasel. And this one's torso printing, of which I think also quite good. Has the short legs and all. And also that gun made with the mini binoculars like we've seen in past sets. And there's the back torso printing. But the helmet piece also just about like Empress Ness. Well done with a lot of good sculpting and all. And check this out. Also a black head. But I don't know if you can notice it there. 
that there is a bit of a uh, holing in it or whole part in it just like the kind of like the like they did in the mid 2000s like I did and also I don't know if you can make that out but there is a bit of a face print there or, but whatever And uh, okay, and one of the and with a updated version of Tobias Beckett. So with as the hairpiece of which is kind of like that from the Incredibles two line, and, yeah. and also holding two silver small pistols there, but no double sided face, and there he is from the back. To one of the bikes. So, first of the bikes is. So, as he has the like flagging pieces with stickers on it to be front flat parts. And also, so, but good snot techniques with the like sloping and those newer ish pieces. And also, a stud shooter on the sides and also a couple of mini guns below. But also a lot of uses of the like roundish tile pieces or I mean plate pieces. And also interesting for the and also the roller skate piece above, kinda like we saw on the first order TIE Fighter and Lego Beast in the Force Awakens one. But also with this, get a little sidecar with similar techniques to it. But I said it a lot smaller. And also have similar jets with those little things and blue uh, thrust disc dish pieces. And I think this design of it looks well done. I think it well captures it. And also get on one of them is a little crate that has a little cylinder in it. And the car. And also on it is enough space to seat one or two mini fig of the mini figs onto it, like so. And also what those little ratchety pieces can do is you can split apart with it so it's two separate bikes and that's it for that one and now to the other one which is kind of similar to that but with the like curved up kind of uh, flaps and also but also with a large uh, flap in the back, or tail fin flap in the back. But, woo, check out these ones. So, big use of those like rounded plate pieces is with blue studs on, which I think looks well done. Although, it kind of reminds me a good bit of like the First Order Transporter set. But where it was with large ones, but it's like a small version of that. Kind of cool. And also some studs, stud shooters on the sides. And also some more of that to act as landing gear. And as you can tell. But also a little interesting thing for the handlebar area. Like where it's on some of those other little things and kind of postable. 
but enough space to fit Empress Nips onto it. I think this is a pretty good set. Well, although the $30, $30 price point of it, I think it's kind of steep, but at least you're getting like like three little uh, beater bikes, but well, one that has a sidecar, which I kind of haven't seen in a while since the last time I went was probably in like Clone Wars line or something. But yeah. And if you are looking to get this set, then go ahead and get it. And if you enjoyed seeing Solo, then go ahead and pick this up. And that's it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.